Tonight on Titan Sports Recap. Women's soccer hopes to continue their winning streak as they take on the UC Riverside Highlanders. Women's volleyball takes on rivals Long Beach State in another heated battle on the court. Ice hockey shatters the ice as they take on the UCLA Bruins. And in honor of ice hockey's return, we have a special Get to Know Your Titans. All this and more on Titan Sports Recap. Welcome to Titan Sports Recap, bringing you the best video coverage of Cal State Fullerton Athletics. I'm Alyssa Santiago. And I'm Ben Mikowski. Women's soccer has been making several headlines lately, from Lindsay Marichich being Defensive Player of the Week to their three-game winning streak. They take on the UC Riverside Highlanders, and here's Vanessa Lopiccolo with the highlights. Thanks, Ben. The Titans are currently 3-1 and in Big West Conference play and are looking to extend their winning streak to four games tonight against UC Riverside. Let's check out the highlights. The Titans are looking for their fourth straight win, taking on the UCR Highlanders. The first half started fast for the Titans with multiple corner kick scoring opportunities, but fell short each time. It wasn't until the 17th minute that Stacy Fox chips it over the goalkeeper's head and finds the back of the net. Jennifer Smith got the assist and Titans are up 1-0. The Highlanders didn't stop battling all second half, but the Titans were just too strong for them. And the Titans go on to take the win, 1-0, over the Highlanders. Um, yeah, well, Jen Smith got the ball kind of like middle of the field. And I kind of saw her looking through the gap. And so I just read it, and she played a perfect ball through. And I kind of saw the goalie coming out, so I just tried to poke it behind her. And luckily it went in. I wasn't really sure. It was like right in the corner. So, <laughs> like, we don't really think about who's the next team that we're going to play. Like, we mostly just focus on like our team and our plan and just critiquing any little part that we need to work on. Like this game wasn't really our best um, show, I wouldn't say, but you know, there's things to work on and we'll just kind of do that going forward. But Santa Barbara is just like another game, so. The Titans are now seven and seven overall and have improved the record four and one in Big West Conference play. From Titan Stadium, Vanessa LaPiccolo, Titan Sports Recap. Women's volleyball is in a three-game winning streak of their own as they come in against rivals Long Beach State with another victory on their mind. Ashley Asordia was at Historic Titan Gym with the results. Thanks, Alyssa. The Titans are coming off a win, defeating UC Irvine, and are looking to continue their winning streak playing host to Big West rival Long Beach State. Now let's go check out the highlights. In the first set, the Titans are tied at 26. Bree Moreland serves. 49ers keeping the ball alive, sending it back over to the Titans. Kaylin Taitapa with assist to Kaylin Nito attacks the ball. Nito gets the kill. Titans win the first set, 28 to 26. The third set, the Titans are up by 12. Nito slams it over to the 49ers. Janisa Johnson tips the ball. Nito for the dig, and Julie Kansani sends it over to Leah Best, who kills it. Titans win the third set, 25 to 11. In the fourth set. The Titans are 24 to 16. Moreland passes the ball over to Kinsani, who sets the ball up for Best, slamming it down the middle. And the Titans are victorious in the fourth set. The Titans win the match in the fourth set against Long Beach State, defeating the 49ers 3 to 1. For me personally, it feels great. Um, I know a lot of the Long Beach players, so it was nice to get that win from them. Uh, and as a team, it's great. Like it's, it hasn't been done in what was it like 30 years 30 or something? Years. So yeah, I mean that's I don't know if that's technically making history, but it kind of feels like it. So I think it's a huge uh, motivator for our team and to just continue to play well. The Titans defeated Long Beach State for the first time in 30 years since October 19, 1982. With key players Kayla Nino and Bree Moreland, the Titans were able to hold the 49ers to only 27 points in the last two sets. From historic Titan Gym, Ashley Sordia, Titan Sports Recap. Ice hockey may not have started their season on a high note, losing their first two games, but they hope to make a change after they take on the UCLA Bruins. Kaylee Krish is at the KHS Ice Arena with the highlights. Thanks, Ben. Cal State Fullerton Titans are taking on the UCLA Bruins. And after a three-game losing streak, they're looking for their first one of the season. Let's take a look at the highlights. 
With a full house to cheer the Titans on, the team was motivated to get their first win. UCLA came into their second game with a tough loss against LMU and are looking to redeem themselves. In the first period, Alex Sulo fires and scores with an assist from Eric Perus, giving the Titans a 1-0 lead. With Cal State Fullerton scoring two more times in the first period, UCLA tries to strengthen their defense and is able to block the Titans three attempts to score, and the game remains 3-0, Titans up at the end of the second period. Midway through the third, Sean Salagumba gets the Titans their fourth goal. And as Alex Sulo faces off with the goalkeeper, he is able to tap into the net and give the Titans their fifth and final goal of the night, ending the game with a 5-0 score. After being able to win their first game of the season, I asked grad student Adam Brusig how he thought his team played against the UCLA Bruins. I think we uh, decided as a team before the game started, you know, we got to come out, we have to change how we were playing the first couple first couple games. Uh, we always start out flat, but we have to set the pace for the, the, the start of the whole game. So I think we did that in the first period. We got three goals in the first period, and then uh, we got two at the end, so it was good. Let's hope the Titans can keep their motivation for their next game against San Jose Spartans, Thursday, October 18th at 10.30 p.m. From KHS Ice Arena, Kaylee Krish, Titan Sports Recap. With ice hockey season underway, reporter Janice Garcia has more on this week's Get to Know Your Titan. On this week's Get to Know Your Titan, I got the opportunity to ask ice hockey goaltender Braden Heehouse questions about his college career here at CSUF. Braden has been on the ice hockey team since the 2009-2010 season and has been improving with a save percentage being over 89% over the last three seasons. His commitment has been shown through his perseverance and helping the younger players on the team. I just uh, I tell them to calm down a lot because uh, in the first couple games they were uh, they're pr they're pressing too much they're trying to make something happen and you know I just it's we, we they got time they, they have more time than they think and however what exactly is this fifth year senior's passion would it still be around the world of hockey I mean I, I, I like business I like finance um, I mean I ultimately do uh, love hockey and if, if I could get a job in some kind of business in in hockey and like you know the NHL kind of thing like you know working in upper management that'd be awesome. You know, I, something like that. Or, I mean, finance I, is, you know, something I also like. So, one of those two things. Now that the Stanley Cup is in Los Angeles, would a crowd like this, here at KHS Ice Arena, be able to kiss this magical 34-and-a-half-pound cup? Has a Tustin native and respectful hockey fan gotten the chance to kiss Lord Stanley? Let's find out. I haven't done that yet. I, uh... I wish I did. I wish I could. I mean, it's it's an awesome trophy, and I mean, it'd be something. And I'm a Kings fan, so uh, so it's awesome having them win the cup. I mean, hopefully uh, they can get that labor dispute. He has his teammate number 12, Sean Shalagumba, had some words to define Brandon. Solid, uh, reliable, and persistent. Shalagumba also described Brandon. He also his leadership role on this Cal State Fullerton ice hockey team. We're back there. We do like rely on him very heavily. I mean, we shouldn't have to, but he is there in case we need him. To find out more about Brandon Heehouse and the rest of the Cal State Fullerton team, go to www.titanicehockey.com. Reporting from KHS Ice Arena, Janice Garcia, Titan Sports Recap. Here's your Titan timeline highlighting the biggest games coming in the next two weeks. Women's soccer will continue conference play as they take on the Cal Poly Mustangs on October 21st. Women's volleyball hopes to shut out the Pacific Tigers on October 27th, and men's soccer returns home to take on the UC Irvine Anteaters on October 27th. And remember that you can catch our entire video highlight library on our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash titansportsrecap. Follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at CSUF Sports Recap. And find us on Facebook for our constant video updates. Just search for Titan Sports Recap. Well, that's going to do it for us. Be sure to tune in in two weeks for more sports coverage. From all of us here at Titan Sports Recap, I'm Alyssa Santiago. And I'm Ben Mikowski. See you guys next time.